Clyde, that's right. Cheated, disappointed, frustrated. Just a few of the emotions LeVon Evans is feeling tonight. It's been 33 years since his brother and cousin were murdered, and he was ready for it to all be over tonight. That's one of the last pictures you took right here. LeVon Evans is talking about his brother Dante before he was shot and killed by this man, Joseph Paul Franklin, on June 8th of 1980 at the age of 13. His cousin, 14-year-old Daryl Lane, was gunned down alongside him in Bond Hill. At 12.01 a.m. Central Time, 101 hour time, the 63-year-old serial killer was scheduled to be executed in Missouri for killing another man in a sniper attack outside a suburban St. Louis synagogue in 1977. But a federal judge in Missouri halted his execution over concern about a drug the state was going to use. Very, very disappointed. Very. LeVon had been watching the clock tick all day. This know it's been 33 years. 33. Well, how long y'all want to keep feeding him? How long y'all want to keep going through this? How long y'all want to keep paying the taxpayer money to keep feeding this guy? It's time for him to go. LeVon is 40. He says his brother would be 47 if he were still here. His cousin would be 48. My big brother was everything that a big brother supposed to be. He looked out for me, he taught me everything, taught me how to ride a bike, taught me how to ride a skateboard. He taught me how to play basketball, taught me how to tumble. Now, yeah. LeVon and his family have to wait again. Here we go, Thanksgiving again. Mm -hmm. Come around, my brother ain't here and all this, and open up bad wounds, you know what I mean? You open up wounds. You got me all hyped up, thinking it's going to happen. And here it is, you ain't, it ain't going to happen again. Until Franklin is executed, LeVon says there will be no closure. When that time comes, he plans on being there to watch. Now, Franklin murdered 18 other people around the U.S. between 1977 and 1980, targeting blacks and Jews. Now, Judge Melissa Powers ultimately got Franklin to confess that he killed those two Cincinnati teens you just saw in the story. Now, we spoke with her tonight to get her response to this decision. She said, quote, Franklin got a break that he did not deserve. Amy Wattis, Nine on Your Side, live from Mount Adams.